Today's video is sponsored by Boxu. Check my link down below for 10% off. Hey Grains, so I'm not saying I have a sticker collecting issue, but... That's the string. But lately I've been pretty obsessed with sticker making machines. More specifically, we're going to be looking at a weird sticker maker from Japan. For the most part, I've had positive experiences with Japanese craft kits. However, I'm a little skeptical on this one. As you can see, this one looks like a gumball machine, but yes, it makes stickers. According to the box, we can make gem type stickers, where you put the sticker on one side and then the gem on the other side, twist it together, and they magically combine. And yes, I'm calling it a gumball machine, but it's more closely related to a gacha machine. You know, those machines where you put the money and the toy comes out in little caps? Yeah, kind of like that. In a previous video, we did a Korean sticker machine that was bootlegged from China, and that one was... Uh questionable. And I have to give credit where credit is due. This was found by my friend Jamie who absolutely loves to find things like this for me. And from Amazon Japan, this one was about $23. And you can see it does have kind of three and a half stars. So I feel like we're going to have our doubts confirmed or denied. The machine does look absolutely adorable. We see some gems and then we see the process of putting the two pieces in twirling it and getting a sticker. But similarly to the box, we're just basically getting a sense of these are stickers, you can do so many of them, and voila. Now my question is, do we absolutely need to use their stickers or can we use our own? Because we're gonna try it with their stickers and then I have my own home stickers. Because if anything, this machine is pretty cheap, but if we have to buy the refills, that's gonna get expensive. So we're gonna try and game this machine to see if we can hack it. Yes, here on the Nerdy Crafter channel, we're trying to hack sticker machines. <laughs> and if you like that kind of stuff, and you like sharp pointy things threatened emptily at you, make sure you click on all notifications when you subscribe. And if any of you are interested in previous reviews of sticker machines and sticker craft kits, I will leave a link down below. You can see so many different thumbnails of me enjoying tearing them down. So without further delay, Let's see what we get inside. So here's what we get inside. We have the cute Kira Gacha Seal Machine. It's actually not that big. And luckily it doesn't need any kind of batteries or gimmicks in order for it to work. Let's hear what it sounds like. Okay. It kind of has that satisfactory gacha toy turning thing machine sound. And this, okay, there you go. And you have this here in order to store all the stickers that you make. So it's a storage box and a sticker maker, which you know what? I can appreciate. And then we get a set of super holographic stickers. I didn't expect them to be that holographic, but they are pretty cute. They're kind of generic at the same time. I mean, some of them just say cosmetic on them. We also have a thank you, sure, kind of cute. But one thing to note is that this sticker sheet is thick, double C thick. Look, look on the screen, T-H-I-C-C, -C, okay? You can't even hear it. There you go. So I'm guessing the thickness of the actual sticker really matters for it to work in the machine. Otherwise, it could break or it could tear or it could get lost in the machine. This could be something that we're gonna have to hack anyways. We also get the little gems that are going to be for the top part of our sticker because our stickers are going to be 3D gem-ish, and they're basic plastic. So we have stars, hearts, and uh, hexagons? Yes, hexagon. We also get these little sets, I'm guessing that should go in the machine to hold the sticker and the gem basically stabilized in the, I'm making these things up. I'm gonna check the instructions later. But they are easy to identify because you'll see star, star, so it's for the star shape. So even if you mix them up, it's totally okay. Here you can see hexagon and this is hearts, so it's not the right one. And hexagon right there. And then we have hearts and hearts. And then we get this really cute wand looking thing, I'm guessing so that we can push the sticker deeper into the mold. I don't know. I don't know. Next, as per usual, non-colored instructions, but they usually have quite a bit of picture. Here we go. And I'm gonna use my trusty Google Translate in order to try and figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. 
Now because these instructions are basically drawn, I can't tell if it's the back or the front side of the actual mold. So I went ahead and pulled up a YouTube video that shows me exactly what to do, which side to put it, and then it should work, I'm guessing. So I think let's go ahead and start with a simple shape. So let's go for a heart. Even though the instructions do say to use scissors, their actual video just shows you twisting it right off. Like, gusto. Ta-da! Easy peasy. All right, this was the part that I was basically worried about. Is it this way or is it that way? But it is indeed this way and it goes on the left side, like so. We take our little heart gem and shove it right in there. Oh, oh did I push too far? No, I, th I think we're okay. I think we're okay. This is not a filter. <laughs> Okay, let's let's just pretend this is okay. I didn't even push that hard, I promise. And since this is our first one, I'm going to take a sticker I don't mind kind of ruining just in case we mess up. And the video clearly says to take it from the back. To take the sticker from the back. Huh? Stop, just get your minds out of the gutter! Okay, so we pop this right out. Oh, okay. There's a film up here, and this is a double-sided sticker. Oh, I understand. Okay, that's how it works. This is a double-sided sticker. So we have the front, we have the back, and both are sticky. That's how it gets onto the gem. Okay, I'll see you, Japan. I'll see you. We're gonna have to work harder to hack this. But don't worry, I'm not scared. Okay, and now we put it in here, and this is what this little pen thing is for. So we just make it nice and snug, like a so. And now we go ahead and take this sticker one and shove it in here, like a so. And now for the moment of truth, we're going to turn the dial and the sticker should come down here. And, oh, hang on, let's get a closer look at what the shrimp, what is this garbage? What is that? Why is this here? This is not aligned. Let's check the video again. All right, so they just put the sticker in and now they turn the dial. What do we get? Let's come on, turn it, turn it, turn it. <laughs> come on. Yeah, that's it. Oh no, oh, oh, pause right there, right there. It says it's finished, but let's zoom in on the actual finished product. It is not aligned. So for those of you who wanna say, I think you're doing it wrong. Stop it, the video from the actual company also shows that this is flawed. Let's go ahead and try every single shape just in case. And you know what? Let's try again. Maybe I pushed it too low. You, you remember this part? Okay. Oh, did I push too far? Maybe I'm supposed to let it loosey-goosey. You know what? Let's do another heart, just for science. So we probably just have to turn it back all the way. Yeah. All right, so the only thing we need to take out is this. We'll keep the shape. And once again, here goes our heart. This time we're not gonna push it down. We're just kind of let it sit evenly with the top. I'm guessing like so. Now, if the bottom part is actually more pronounced in terms of the separation, maybe we actually need to push it even lower. And I'm gonna take this popsicle sticker. Again, push it from the back, like so. Oh no, what the heck? <laughs> Come on, come on, work with me. Let's try this again. I'm gonna push you, there we go. And let's push it into the mold, there you are. So I know that the issue isn't going to be the actual sticker mold because it is pretty snug in there. There's no room to move up and down. In you go. I really feel like maybe we need to push the heart lower. I feel like we do. But for science, we're gonna do this extreme of just letting it be even. Ready? And turn. Oh no. Yep. So it is way higher. So my guess, we need to go much lower. We're learning, we're learning here. All right, so back we go. Very nice. It has a nice little click, so I kind, I'm kind of getting used to it. Now this time, we're actually going to push it all the way in. So that's as far as it goes. So there's nowhere for it to go as of here. And let's pull our sticker holder. Get out! Oh, there you go. And at this point, we're getting into cute sticker territory, so whether I want to ruin it or not, I do not have a choice because we've gotten rid of our tester stickers. In ya go. So far, so good. I wonder if the speed makes a difference. Probably not, because even their demo video was off. And the answer is no. Nowhere actually talks about the speed at which you turn the dial. So here is our heart. I really don't think it's equal, but let's do it anyways. All right, time for spinny. And oh, ooh, that actually worked. So as you can see, we don't have anything that's sticking out of anywhere. It's pretty close to centered, not quite, but better than what we got last two times. So you really have to push the gem all the way down. Now that we've gained enough confidence, time to change the shapes. 
All right, heart, you're out. All right, let's find the star. This one's the hexagon. And this one's the star. In you go. And let's get you, oh my gosh. There we go. And this one seems to be the star. Which way does it go? Oh gosh. This way? Yes. I'm saying yes because the instructions clearly say that the bottom tip of these ones have to go at the bottom. So the upside down star, basically. Actually, you're not supposed to go in there. Come here. And since I find the cosmetic sticker to be kind of ridiculous, we're gonna go with that one. Nicely holographic though. That much I have to admit. Very shiny, very cute. Okay, it's nicely snug. In ya go. And our star goes this way. Okay, I didn't have to push it. That's worrisome. Just a little worrisome. And we twist. Oh no. Oh no. What did I do wrong? I double checked. It seems like everything I did was right. So let's go again. Oh no. So we have another disaster. I saw that the actual mold moved. Let's replay that again when I'm turning it. So this is very loosey goosey. Man, it feels like this whole video is just trying to figure out to get this right. This is a really finicky machine. Maybe it needs to lay down. Maybe I need to make the stickers like this. You know what? I'm gonna try it. Actually, I want to show you something because I'm playing around with the dial and then here's what I noticed. So first things first, the star really is snug in there, okay? It's as far as it goes. But let's pretend we're turning it. I want you to pay attention over here. Look what happens to the star mold. Do you see that? It just jumped completely out of place. So let's go backwards. Oh gosh, look at that. It's out of place. There's nothing to secure it down. Let's do that again. Star mold, pointy tip down. And in case you wanna tell me I'm doing it wrong, look at this. You see? It's snug right there. Let's try this way. All right, I just heard a click. Let's see if that works. Let's start turning it. Okay, it seems good over here. Let's try a sticker. If you have to remove it to get a click, then the instructions are completely off. I feel like I'm some kind of engineer now. I'm just trying to figure out how the machine works when it's supposed to work straight out of the box. And we're gonna go with a cute girl sticker. And upside down it goes because the pointy part is supposed to face down. All right, so this, we had a click after I removed it. And the answer is twisty turny. Oh, oh. What the shrimp? So, uh, the sticker came out on its own. Apparently the click was too firm. So it's either too loose or too firm because my guess is that the actual gem is probably most likely still inside. So it's not supposed to have a click. It's supposed to be loosey-goosey. <sighs> oh, the salt is real with this one. I was so excited about a sticker machine from Japan. Why you do this to me, sticker machine? All right, so I loosen this back up so that it's normal. Let's see again on the right side. Okay, so far so good. Let's go. I went quick. Did something come out? No, just the sticker part. Just the sticker part has come out. Where is the mold? Still in there? What the heck? Okay, let's do that again. There you go. Facing down. Sticker time. I'm gonna put you in here. I know this is not the process, but I'm so done with you right now. There, and let's turn it normal. See? Gosh, okay, let's stop here and just go normal. No. Now, at this time, the sticker is just not sticking. The sticker is like, no, you stuck me on your face. Does it work? Yeah, it does. It just didn't... St <sighs> let's take another one. My next sticker attempt is going to be happy day because I need to start manifesting some good vibes here. <laughs> and yeah, go. Please don't disappoint me. Let's go. It's going to pop over here. Okay, aligned. Let's just go very slowly. It popped. It popped right out. I saw it. And the end result is, yep, look at that. Misaligned again. I'm going to do the same thing, except I'm going to put the machine laying down flat. Okay, so here it is laying down flat. Let's see if this actually works. Once they align, I'm going to try and align it. I think this is pretty aligned. I'm going to turn it up to here, and now I'm going to hold it down. And no, that still did not work. I'm starting to see why this machine got less than four stars on Amazon. It's just finicky. The heart works. Let's try the hexagon. <sighs> and for this, the instructions say to make sure that the flat part is at the bottom as opposed to a tip. I'm going to do this like so. Do I need to push you down? There's no room for pushing, but it is pretty loose. Hang on, let me double check. That is way too snug. There. Let's try that again. I'm starting to really hate this machine. Japan, I love a lot of your things. This one ain't not one of them. Ain't one of them. Not ain't not. It's not a double negative. 
This one ain't one of them. And let's go with a cute smiley hot face. In you go. And let's see if it does that little jump on the side. So far so good. And what do we have down here? Oh, look at that. It actually somewhat worked. There's a little bit of a weird angle, but it did make it. So I'm going to assume the star really is the culprit of all the bad things here, which is too bad. And now, stickers! My own stickers, not those, what's it called, manicure? No, cosmetic sticker, mm-mm, we're not into that. And here is my small collection. I really need a better box, that's all I have at this time. But we have everything from holographic kitty cats, festive kitty cats. I think there's a theme here. We do have Harry Potter stickers. A lot of these were actually sent to me by you grains as well as my own collection. They just kind of become one at this point. But from what we've seen is that the stickers are actually pretty small. So by the way, I'm not going to go through my entire sticker collection because that's a whole other video. But I feel like the safest thing to do is take a full sticker sheet and then cut the shape that we want from it. And these food ones are way too big. So we might be able to get away with some Harry Potter faces or even just hollow kitty cats. And one of the things that we need to know in order to hack this machine is that we need double-sided stickers. And the stickers themselves on this, let's pull one out. Oh gosh, come on. By the way, don't get this machine. It's garbage. I would not recommend it, but let's hack it anyways. But I have to say that the stickers themselves are actually quite thick. They're not the thin, flimsy kind. So I'm wondering if that's going to be at our disadvantage because I don't think that my own stickers are that thick. And if we look through the windows of the shapes, let's go with the heart. Here's my kitty cats. That's the extent of how much we can put. That's as big as it gets. But Jackie, how do you make double-sided stickers? Ah, I'm glad you asked. Double-sided tape. But in my case, a sticker machine from a previous video that basically turns any paper into a double-sided sticker. Well, into a sticker, actually. So let's say I take this paper from this kit and hey, I wanna turn this into a sticker. All you do is you put it in here and it has like this swivel thing. You turn it and it feeds it to the back like so. Pull it off and look at that. It is now a sticker. That is really cool, right? If you want to watch more details on that video, I will link the entire review down below. But for now, I'm gonna try and turn these cats I'm gonna see if turning these stickers upside down, if I can turn them into double-sided stickers. Or is it gonna get stuck in the machine and I'm gonna regret it? Most probably. There's only one way to find out. <laughs> so I do have non-holographic kitty cats. Oh my god, I love- I don't even remember where these stickers come from. They all just belong to me at this point. And the holographic. Let's go with holographic. Why not? So I went ahead and cut out two pieces. Should I cut the shape first? Oh no. Okay, hang on. My brain is working hard. Alright, so since we're going to be putting this upside down, like this, because we want this side to be sticky, I need to know the shape that I have to cut out of this. So, oh boy. Okay, um, let me draw the shape behind them. Oh gosh. Hang on. I got, I got this. Stop yelling at me. There. So I think I'm gonna just draw the heart right behind it. We'll take it from there. So here are the hearts drawn in. As you can see, it's a little transparent, so we should be able to see the faces. My biggest worry is that the stickers will come off in the machine, but let's go ahead, put it in, like a so. We turn the dial. Please don't mess up. <laughs> Please don't mess up. Okay, we're out, we're good. And now we should have a double-sided sticker. Of course, you can use double-sided tape, which will be much easier, I think. Cheaper, probably, as well. I just happen to have had this, and I don't like to waste resources. Now let's go ahead and cut this. Oh gosh, oh boy. By the way, how's your day going? <laughs> Have you made stickers out of just double-sided tape? I've seen so many sticker hacks that are absolutely wonderful out there and we've tested a few TikTok sticker hacks. So yeah, let me know. And we have our heart gem and let's go ahead and put it in here. This one where we're supposed to push. Very nice, nice and snug. And now let's see if our sticker is now double-sided. I'm guessing yes. I don't want to remove the back sticker. This is a very delicate process. We need to make sure that the front shows. Nope, that is still the back. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh boy, oh boy, oh gosh. Come on, no, that's still the wrong side. Oh gosh. Oh, I got it! And here we go. Yes, it is sticky. Very nice. Our next step is to put it in here, push it in. Oh gosh, did I, is this too big? Why is the top here empty? Did I mess up? Yes, I did. Because it wasn't a square sticker and it came out right here. So we're kind of missing the top part. 
And I should have cut it even closer. Oh no. Oh no. Please, no. Alright, so this one's scrap. So the lesson learned is don't take something that is too cut around the edges unless you're actually going to cut only on the inside of your shape. Did that make sense? Probably not. Just make sure you don't get edges is what I'm saying. So I'm going to switch to a Pusheen sticker. I do have quite a bit of cat stickers. So here's another cat sticker. And I might just try to cut Harry Potter's face. Just on the inside of the edges. Kind of thing. All right, so I did the entire process with the Pusheen and Harry Potter sticker, and here we go. All right, so they should be adhesive. Yes. And I did cut it a lot smaller. Please fit. Please fit. No, why is it so big? What the heck? And this time I actually used the outline of a sticker, of the stickers within the kit. Oh gosh. I didn't think cutting the sticker would be the biggest pain in the butt, but now it's a little on the small side. <laughs> Dang that. Hopefully it doesn't come right off. Oh gosh, please, no, no, stay in place. Stay. No! <laughs> wow, they really made this process really hard to hack. No. So I've spent a little bit more time to make it a little bit more exact, so wish me luck at this point. <laughs> Good news grains. Here is Harry and it's not coming out. So that is a good thing because the ones initially from the kit were basically about this snugness. All right, in you go Harry. And let's go ahead and turn it. Please work. Okay, it's aligned. Let's go. Hello? Okay, there it is. And we made it. It's a little off center. Can we move it? No, we can't. But we did get a gem Harry Potter sticker. Part of me is very unimpressed. But yes, it does work with double-sided tape. It's a little... Oh, there you go. There's the actual sticker. And as you can see from the instructions, it sticks. Here it is. Is it hackable? Absolutely. Is it worth it? Absolutely not. I regret spending all that time trying to figure out a machine I would never recommend in the first place. The concept is really cool. The execution is a little on the annoying side. And also the stickers are much tinier than I expected. So as cute as it is, it does pose some frustrations, especially the star, just forget it. This one, yeah, doable, but you really have to work on it to get it exact. I mean, even their demo, let's look at that again, was not aligned, so. If you're looking to excite your palette, well, wait no further because today's sponsor is Boksu. For those of you who don't know Boksu, they are monthly premium Japanese snack subscription box, my favorite ever. Every month you'll be getting anywhere between 20 and 25 snacks centered around a specific theme. So for example, this month is Spring Otozure. Let's try some snacks. Ume Zarame. Oh, yes. Oh, smells good. Oh, wow. <laughs> Yubari Melon Chocolate. Japanese melon is divine. Ooh. Like little truffles. Oh yeah. This is probably one of my favorite boxes. However, as a first time subscriber, you'll be getting something called Seasons of Japan, so you get a good feeling of a little bit of everything. In addition to the snacks, you get a cute little magazine that tells you where each snack comes from and lets you know if the snacks are vegetarian friendly or if they have any common allergens. So if you're looking to excite your taste buds and have a little bit of Japan, why don't you check my link down below and use my code NERDYCRAFTER10 to get 10% off your Japanese snack subscription box from Boksu. Thank you, Boksu, for sponsoring today's video and being huge supporters of this channel. If you want to watch more sticker review machine videos, make sure you check up here. And if you want to watch something different like Disney's mini brands unboxing, make sure you check down here. Until then, I will see you grains in the next video.